In this lecture, we are going to understand about the joints in structure steel. Steel structure are connected to one another, usually at the end, so that it becomes a single composite unit. Detailing of joints in steel structure is as important as detailing of main structural members. Ultimately loads from structures are transferred to different structural members through joints. Joints provide continuity between the connected members. A good detailing of joints in steel structure is required to make the structure safe for the given loads. Historically, most major structural failures have been because of some form of connection failure that is due to failure of joints. It is an important and crucial component in the steel structure. There are different components used for connections. The cost of structural steel consists of a major portion of connections. And that is the reason primary importance should be given to the design of connections for safety and economy of structure. In modern times, the most common types of cutting mediums are welds and bolts. Connecting plates. These are used for connection of primary members. Plates can be of various shapes and sizes. They are available in thickness of 5 mm and can go up to 25 mm. Connecting angles. They are widely used in connections and contains a large variety of shapes, load-bearing capacities and sizes. Types of steel connection and their classification are based on four categories. First, connecting medium. Second, type of internal forces the connection transmit. Third, type of structure element that make up connections. And fourth, type of members being joined. Classification on the basis of joining medium are bolted joints, welded joint, riveted joint, and a combination of bolted and welded joints. Bolted joints. These are the most commonly used connections. Bolts have largely replaced rivets due to their lower installation cost, ease of installation and maintenance. The bolts are used to connect the pieces of metals by inserting them through the holes in the metals. Bolts are of two types, high strength bolts and bearing type bolts. Bolts can be loaded for members subjected to tension, shear or both. The disadvantage of bolted connections is that if the structure is subjected to lot of vibratory loads then bolts get loosened, reducing strength. Also, Unfinished bolts have lesser strength because of non-uniformity in diameter. Welded joints. These are connections whose components are joined together when heated and fused with supplementary molten metal at the joint. Welded connections have the primary advantage of being simple in design, requiring fewer parts and material. Different types of welded joints are butt joint, T joint, corner joint. Lap joint and dead joint. Welded connections have multiple advantages like it is economical way of jointing members. The efficiency is considered 100%. For rivets and bolts, efficiency is considered 75% in case of failure. Complex steel structures can be easily made using weld joints as they provide rigid joints. The disadvantage of welding is that there is no provision for expansion and contraction. This might lead to cracking. Uneven heating might cause additional stresses developed in the members. Its inspection is more difficult than bolts. Riveted connection. Here rivet are made up of a head and a ductile shank. This process is conducted by inserting preheated rivet by the application of pneumatic pressure into the holes of pieces to be joined. As shown in figure, it forms a head at the other end of the rivet, so that metal piece cannot come out of the plate. This connection posed a number of disadvantages, including 
high levels of noise during installation, the need for preheating, difficulty in replacing rivets during maintenance. Skilled laborers are required to inspect the connection, and there is higher cost associated with installation. As the name suggests, two processes are carried out in this method. Usually the components are welded in shops and then bolted in the field. The advantage of this connection is, it provides better strength to the structure and also, it is cost effective. Classification of joints based on internal forces Internal forces are important considerations while designing steel connections. Shear connection is a joint that allows for the transfer of shear forces between two members. It is used for simply supported connection. There is a gap in between beam flanges and column flange. The beam will have space for rotation and so, the connection will be called a shear connection. Moment connection is a joint that allows the transfer of bending moment forces between a column and beam. It is used for fixed connection. If there is no gap in between beam flanges and column flange, the beam will not have space for the rotation. Hence the connection will be a rigid connection, which is also called a moment connection. Classification based on the type of structure element. There are many different types of structural elements, and the various placements to the structural members, results in many different connection types. The most common structural elements used are angles and plates. Angles placed at an I-beam's web is called web angle, and the one placed at I-beam's flange is called seat angle. Connections can be called top and seated angle connections or seated beam connections. Classification according to type of member The consideration for connecting columns and beams should act as one of the primary considerations when needing to design a steel connection. The most common configurations include beam to beam connections and beam to column connections. The other type of member connections are column to column connections and Column to base plate connections. After understanding different types of connections, we can conclude that structural integrity is achieved through joints. The connection type should be selected to suit the fabrication workload, economy, and temporary stability during erection of structure steel building.